Hello, good afternoon. Uh, Eden Garden customers, Isidjiano. I'm here today to discuss about a video that I saw. I saw some video that uh, people were talking about lands in the Gambia. Um, I think it was like a black seed family scamming people in the Gambia. And I think it is uh, unfair. I don't know black seed family uh, that much and I only watch their videos. But the way I had the whole situation, I think that uh, there is some misunderstanding. Because in Gambia, you can still buy a land even if it's not yet cleared from income tax. Because you guys, uh, many people are having lands in the Gambia, they have only alcalo paper. They don't have official transfer and uh, mostly even the CFO didn't sign it yet or stamp it yet. Because the, you, you have to think people don't have that much money to pay for all those documents. And it's mostly of family land that they, they, they inherited from their grand-grandparents. So you can still have a land. There is even people in the Gambia who have their compound. They stay in this compound. They don't even have a paper for that compound. That means they don't even have a lot of paper for the house. So that doesn't mean the, the land is not belong to them. But uh, I can understand as a foreigner, if you come from another country and come to the Gambia, uh, you don't know the procedures and uh, yeah, things like that does look very strange for you. And I saw the people going to another office talking to a one gentleman and the gentleman uh, told them that it is not normal. You have to have a clearance for, for the land and you have to make income tax before you can sell the land uh, and, 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 and. But it is not always like that. If you go to the company to buy it from the company, it's possible they already have their clearance and they have uh, income tax paid and everything and it's still not safe. Because sometimes you buy lands from this clearing agent and these offices and you still run after your money. Because the, 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 the people know already many people, they have contacts you can't do anything. You'll be running 24 hours after your money, after paying you, you'll not see your money. This thing happens to many people that are from outside and they're Gambians. So sometimes to buy a land even from the native people is already better. I bought many lands uh, from different people and I have never had any problem with anybody. Even in, they don't pay the income tax because they don't have the money to do that. After buying my land from them and I have transferred the the, the, the alcalo paper and everything uh, and then started processing the official transfer, later if they charge you for the official transfer, uh, the income tax, I have to pay for it because I'm 100% so these people don't have the money, even if at all I pay them already for the land, but I know that if uh, they, they will not never be able to pay for the income tax. So is I just pay the income tax and go there the, 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 for them to sign it. That's all. If you need your papers, you just have to do that. But the thing is with uh, Black State family, uh, I don't know what the situation is. I can't tell anything. But the way I'm seeing things is not like they are, they, they, they are making anything like scamming or something like that. It just take time, this paper process. Because if you don't want to uh, give money, if you don't want to pay a lot of money to the people that are processing the papers, you know when I say you want to pay money, I don't mean the official one you have to pay, you know what I mean. So uh, then the paper will just take time. If you want to take it in the right way, it takes time. time. That's the problem. And if, if they don't have also enough capital when they bought the land and the income tax is very expensive, uh, in Gambia. So the charges they would charge, if you don't have the capital to pay for that one, they expect maybe to buy, uh, the people to buy the lands from them first. And when the people buy the land from them, they will want to use that money for so to pay for all the income tax and for other things. And uh, if you want to go the official way, it's always the time. If you want to give money, uh, under the table so that it will be faster, it costs a lot of more money. So if it's a business, 
you have sold it already. Let's say, for example, you sell the land for hundred thousand dollars, and later the income tax they will be asking for maybe twenty thousand or more than that. Then you are left with eighty thousand, and then you have to start giving people under the table maybe ten thousand or something like that. So you have to calculate. And sometimes it happens that you buy the land and you sell it to the people already and you said, okay, when they buy everything, then I will use that money to pay the income tax because you, as you people said, it's a bulk. It's something that is a big land, you pay it together, you cannot pay one by one. So maybe they sell half of the, uh, the, 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 the property and the other half is not yet sold. So you cannot, the, the money you got, you ca it's not covering the money you have pay for the land and then you want to pay for the income tax. You know what I mean. So I'm so you want to wait for the other people to pay to pay uh, so that you will pay everything together and that also waste time. And if they have alcohol paper already, they have the papers for the safe who have stamped already and they are on the process. And the village, nobody come out and say this land is not to belong to Black Seed family or this company. Then I don't see any problem there for uh, like scamming or something like that. I think it just need time. If you leave the Black Seed family and think they are scammers, they are this and that, and that you go to this uh, other companies that are telling you that these people are like this, it was supposed to be like this. You give them your money, you will regret it tomorrow. You will come back again and say, had I known, I would stay with Black Seed family. Because they have their YouTube channel. They were a long time there. The way I see them and the way I see Juliet, I don't think she would like to have a name like that in the Gambia because that is uh, not good for the business. I'm sorry, you will make everything so that to help you people to get your papers. But you have to be patient. You cannot just force things like that. Because in Africa, things go very slow. That's the problem. So you people have to check where the problem is and work together hand in hand and just try to get the papers and uh, stop that going round. You know, there are scammers, there are this and that and that. People, other ones will tell you, yeah, this is true, because they want to pull you to them. They want to pull you to come to them. But if you go there, you will lose, lose your money and you will come back again and you regret it. I just see the whole thing and I was like, I don't know. Because the whole situation, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. You people have to be just patient, patient, and then work together. I'm not. I don't think that Black Seed family is coming anybody in the Gambia, and uh, I think it's also a nice family. And as I said again and again, you can buy a land from uh, just with the alcohol paper. And uh, the, when the alcohol stamped it and the CFO stamped it and you have your uh, your distant uh, physical planning come and you have the measurement already and uh, for your plot, the sketch plan and everything is stamped and your papers, this land belongs to you. Even if it's not paid yet, the, the income tax is not paid yet because from the income tax you have, you will then go the director will don't stamp it without the income tax payment the director will not stamp it and from there is then uh, the, the occupancy is finished and you can process it to lease but it just take time and the process is, is is also long if you want to go to the right way uh, it takes just time this is how it is so it's just uh, i saw this video and i just said let me come out and then say what I think and what I know about the whole process. Um, thank you very much and I wish you people all the best and I hope everything will be okay with the papers and the Gambia and everything that you will not just go now from what, to the frying pan to the fire. Okay, have a nice day and yeah, that's all I have to say. As I said, it's an experience that I have gone through many, many times. And I have never had problem with buying land from people, the local people. And the only thing that if you want to buy the lands from these companies, sometimes I have many, many people that does that, uh, and they have a lot of problems. They always talk about it, and I tell them always and always again, get the lands mostly from the private people, from the native people, 
And if the land is clear, investigate and know. If the land is clear, buy the land from them. It is more safer than to buy it from all those companies. Because even if you go to the police, the police will tell you, this is not a police case. You have to go to summon them and go to court. People are running into the court more than five, six, seven years. They cannot see any their money and nothing will happen. So better keep on a black seat the way they are going. I'm watching always the programs and I think they are going the right way and you people are better in the safe hand. Okay, thank you very much and have a nice day. Or oh, you go to TAF. If you want a better thing, then go to TAF. That one also I'm 100% so there is also okay. Okay, thank you very much.